Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint a sanguinary guard for the blood angels. This model is a little tricky to figure out because it has uh, golden armor and very bright white wings, but it's not too hard. If you like this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and if you would like to further support my channel stay after the video to know how. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to prime the model with Rust-Oleum Automotive Gray Primer. This is just a cheap primer. You can use any primer that you like. I would recommend a very light color so that you can paint the wings. I also use the primer very lightly. And to thin down my paints, I use Liquitex Liquid Retarder. I'm going to start by base coating the whole model with Balthazar Gold. I'm going to try to avoid the wings so that we can paint them on white but this color is thinned down with a little bit of the liquid retarder to make a smoother uh, coverage and what we're trying to do is to give the whole area a very solid coat of gold you could very heavily dry brush this step but it's cleaner if you go ahead and base coat it with a base coat brush here I'm using a number a size 2 brush and next step I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade and with this color I'm going to shade all of the gold areas around the model. I'm trying not to use it too heavily but kinda trying to cover all of the recesses around the model and if you use it too heavily you can spread it around with the bristle of, of your brush. Just make sure to paint all of the places that you want to be gold so that you don't have to go back uh, further into the uh, painting process go back and paint places that you may have forget. Next I'm going to use Gehenna's Gold and here I'm going to use a very heavy dry brush. Uh, my, the dry brush that I'm using has a little bit of the paint but it doesn't have too much. So it has enough that it rubs off into the model but it doesn't get into the recesses. You have to dry brush into a paper towel and get rid of most of the of most of the paints so that you don't see much of the paint coming off of the brush anymore. And here I'm focusing on the larger areas facing the light source which is upwards. Or you can just uh, dry brush the whole thing if you want. But I'm leaving the darkest places that are facing down on the previous color. And next I'm going to use Griffin Golden Griffin, that's the name. And with this color, with a very very dry brush, I'm trying to only hit the edges of the model. Also you can use it to hit the places that are facing di directly up, but I'm trying to focus on just the edges and give it a nice shine all over the model this way. And that's pretty much it, the armor is done. Next I'm going to use Lead Belcher and with this color I'm going to base coat all of the metallic silver parts. If you do the previous steps well uh, you won't have any problems. If you find that you dry brush a little bit too much of the Golden Griffin or that you get into the recesses by accident you can use the Agrax Airshade and wash it into the recesses with a detail brush and you can clean up with Gehenna's Gold if you make any mistakes. Next I'm going to use Vallejo Model Color Black uh, instead of the Abaddon Black because I like this color and it's easy to find. Uh, I'm painting this on the Bolter case. Next I'm going to use Buckman's Glow and with this color I'm going to paint the skin on the model which is just the face. Other models use a helmet so it doesn't matter, it's just the same steps as the armor. Next, Sandry Dust is going to be used to base coat the hair of the model. I'm going for a very bright yellow um, color to the, to the hair. And I'm going to start base coating with Celestra Grey all of the wings areas. The drag retarder helps a lot to make this paint flow well 
and to not leave any crumbs and gives you a little bit more time to move it around before it dries and creates uh, crumbs and strokes so try to give it a quick coat anyways so that the coverage is smooth and don't go too thick but don't go too light either now that it's done I'm going to use Mephiston Red and with this color I'm going to base coat the shoulder pad and all of the red details such as the blood uh, tears and the purity seals wax next I'm going to use Rackard Flesh this color is going to be used on all of the clothes if your model has any clothes or robes you can use these colors and also on the parchments next I'm going to start washing the new newly base coated areas with starting with Rayclan flesh shade and this is going to go on the hair and on the face if you use it too heavily like I did there, you can just spread it around with your brush. You're not trying to really leave any pools around the model. Next, I'm going to use Nuln Oil. And this color is going to be used on all of the metallic silver areas. Such as the sword and the metallic areas behind the knees. And stuff like that. Next, Agras Edge Shade. This color is going to be used on the red and the parchment. Next, I'm going to use Drakenhof Nightshade and I'm going to thin it down with Lamian Medium. And this is a one to one mix approximately. And this is going to give us a very light uh, wash which we, which we can apply on the wings around the model. Try to get it into all of the recesses and uh, just give it a very light wash. Uh, the color by itself is a little bit too dark. And what we're trying to get is a very light blue-gray color to start with. Because the, the trick on painting white is not starting with white. We're starting with a very light gray. And once the washes are all dry, I'm going to start highlighting the model with Necron Compound. This, I'm going to use it to the very parts that are more exposed on metals that you can dry brush. Which is just the ammunition clip and the sword. Next with Iron Breaker I'm going to highlight all of the other places that are silver but that can't be really dry brushed. Next I'm going to start highlighting the face with Cadium Flesh Tone and in this step we're trying to get all of the area, just leaving the recesses on the previous color and the crevices around the model's face. Just leave it in the previous color so that we can have some interesting shadows and stuff like that on the eyes, the cheekbones, below the nose and stuff like that. And to finish it off, I'm going to use Kislev Flesh. And this is a more selective highlight. We're trying to get the very point of the nose the edges on the eyebrows and the highest points of the cheekbones and stuff like that. Ushafti bone is going to be used to highlight the hair. I'm going to try to leave a hairline in between uh, the half of the hair piece here and painting most of the area with Ushafti bone. And to finish up the hair, I'm going to use Screaming Skull and this is going to be used on the very edge of the hairline in the middle of the of the head and on the very edges around the hair of the model. Next, I'm going to use Rackard Flesh and with this color I'm going to start highlighting the scrolls around the model. Just leave the recesses on the previous color and try to highlight in all of the places that are most exposed they are directly directly exposed to light 
and to continue on highlighting the scrolls I'm going to use palette witch flesh and this is just uh, sort of an edge highlight just painted on the parts that are uh, towards the upper parts of the on the light source so just give it a nice highlight and that's it next Mephiston Red I'm going to start highlighting again the shoulder pad and all of the blood uh, jewelry around the model also don't forget the the purity seals wax next wild rider red with this color I'm going to make a as fine line as I can get on the edge of the shoulder pad and I'm going to get also the bottom part of all of the jewels around the model I'm kinda painting like half the half of the teardrops uh, of blood and to finish it off I'm going to use trolls layer orange and that's going to go on the very bottom of each of the stones and that's it next I'm going to use downstone with this color I'm going to edge highlight the edges around the bolter you have to be very careful and I'm using a uh, detail brush and the drying retarder helps a lot to keep the paint wet so that you can work longer with it and you can get on, on all of the edges without drying too much on your brush so here I left the hardest part of the tutorial to the end I'm using Ultwin Gray to color in all of the fe feathers around the wings of the model just be very careful to paint each and every one of those feathers leaving a little bit of the blue on the recesses and in this step I'm trying to cover most of the feathers that I can most of the area and sometimes I'm giving it second coats to really cover well and to finish off the wings even though it looks very quick here because I cut it uh, I use white scar and also white scar is used to give a little reflection of light on the drops of blood and with this color I'm just painting the tips of the wings with this color uh, it looks very easy here but it's a little bit time consuming because we have a ton of wings and at the end the model looks like this the trickiest part on this model to paint was the wings which was the most time consuming part but overall it wasn't too hard if you mess up and you paint gets your paint gets onto the recesses remember that you can use a detail brush and paint some of the wash on those crevices to clean them up try to use thin paint not too thin so that it doesn't go into the crevices so it doesn't run all over the place but thin enough to go smooth and to give up good coverage around the wings I hope you liked this video and that you found it entertaining and informative please like the video, comment on it and subscribe share this video with your friends and if you would like to support my channel check out my Patreon account remember that you can talk to me on Facebook and thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing. But you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.